What's up ladies and gents, my name is Jazzman and welcome back to the channel. Hopefully y'all have an amazing day, I know I am. <sighs> Today we're going to be re reviewing another one of my firearms. Sorry, I just couldn't speak there for a reason. But uh, yeah, today we're going to be taking a look at my Springfield Armory XDM Elite. And basically just going over its features. Um, as you saw in the clip previously... Um, that is not my first shots with the gun. I just thought it'd be cool to include some of the gun operating um, in like future videos of me reviewing my firearms. Um, I've put a few hundred rounds, I want to say about three or four hundred rounds through this one since I got it. I've had it for about a year. And I have to say, I really do enjoy it. Um, it is a full size uh, handgun. And uh, I love how it has the. It has a. What are they called? A grip safety similar to a 1911. Got the dovetail on it. Uh, threaded barrel. So you can actually unscrew this little piece on the front. One thing I really like about this compared to say the 1911 I reviewed. Is the flared magwell. So it makes it much easier. I guess I should make sure that. You know, that way y'all know it's cleared. Uh. empty mag it just makes it really easy to load the firearm and clear it um i have to say it is a real clean shooter very accurate with the iron sights my only issue is i absolutely hate the iron sights on this firearm Let's see if we can get a line up of the iron sights there I absolutely do not like those iron sights. I absolutely hate them. They're accurate, straight from the factory. But I absolutely hate them. Um, it is a striker-fired uh, handgun. As you can see on the back, got the little pen. Striker-fired. Um, and then obviously, since it's got that grip safety, it won't actually fire unless you have that depressed. That's why I had my finger like this when I put the trigger. Um, another issue I had, especially when I first got the gun, um, was the slide release was very, very stiff, which it is most of the time on new guns, but this one especially, um, for some reason. But, you know, now that I've worked the gun in, no issue whatsoever. Um... Out of my semi-automatic handguns, this is it's, it's very reliable. I've never really had any issues with it. And I scratched that. When I, my first few shots through it, my first 100 rounds, it did have a bit of jamming. To be fair, I did not take this part gun apart and clean it straight as I got it, like I normally do with my handguns. So that might be the reason, because normally when I get my handguns, I immediately take them home, take them apart, clean them, move them up. And then fire them. I didn't do this with this one. I bought it and then went to shoot it. So that might explain that. And it, there's no safety on this other than the grip safety. And the slide release is on both sides. Both sides. And, uh, yeah. Ambidextrous mag release as well. And it's got a little tiny rail on the front. Nothing special. But, uh, if I remember right, this gun cost me 800 About $800. So if you're looking for a mid-range price point, 9mm, I guess I should say that's a 9mm, uh, I'd recommend it. I mean, it, it's reliable. Ever Once I took it home and cleaned it, and then went to shoot it again. I never had an issue. But, uh, yeah. That's pretty much my little quick under five minute review of the Springfield Armory XDM Elite. Hopefully you enjoyed. Appreciate y'all joining me. Make sure to check out on YouTube, Twitch, Twitter, and Facebook. Jazzy Man Gaming across the board. And as always, stay jazzy.